2017, we decided to bring our manufacturing back in-house. We needed the ability to streamline. We needed to get design closer to manufacturing. We needed to be more agile. My name is Mike Bruns, president of Arnold Gage. Arnold Gage is 103 years old this year. We design and build custom measurement and custom quality solutions for manufacturers. So customer will bring to us their parts and their needs where they need to check 100% of their parts in line in process. So we'll custom design a solution for them. We'll detail it out. Then the parts will come out here to the machine shop. We will make the parts and then assemble things into a turnkey solution. So the VF2 was a great fit for us. It allows us very easy setup and integrates very well with design. We don't have to wait two to three weeks for the print to go to an outside job shop to negotiate you know, the PO. We can have a need for a part and have it made in the same day. The VF2 was so effective for us, we were bringing more and more and larger, more complex parts in-house. So we then added a VM3 to allow us to handle the higher volume and the larger workspace for our larger parts. We were also looking to make masters at that point, so the accuracy of the VM3 allowed us to make higher precision, tighter tolerance parts. So as we were vertically integrating more of our parts, we saw the need to integrate uh, turning. So the ST15 was a great fit for us. So the part that we were making on the ST15 why is a, it's a pilot, it goes on one of the gauges, part slides over it, and has fingers that come out of it and measure some ID. Running that part on the lathe with the Y axis drops our operations down from you know, six operations to two. And having that Y axis in there allows us to do all the outside profile milling and putting all those pockets in there and rotating it. So we can do all that from the C-axis of the lathe and the Y-axis and the X-axis of the lathe. So it'll go get heat treated and it'll come back and we'll hard turn it and we'll have to hold a tolerance of about plus or minus two tenths and uh, the SDY holds it well. The part comes off perfect every time. This whole transition has really transformed our company. Our goal was to make 90% of our parts in-house and in three years we've exceeded that goal. We're able to be much more agile. We're able to significantly reduce our lead times. And we're able to adjust to unexpected challenges. Sometimes when you're doing custom design, the design doesn't match reality and you need to make some changes. Today we can make those same changes today.